hopeful. And thank you for coming. Let me, uh, I'll try, I'll try, there's so much to say. I'll try to be as brief as I can. Uh, but let me add some names in the context of journalism that are not mentioned here. Uh, that's Ed Guliami. I think he was not mentioned. In connection with the Constitution comes of Tignopolia and Omarska. Uh, there was a fellow with him, I can't remember his name right now. Uh, we are mentioning the names uh, of people active in the UK. It's impossible to mention everybody that helped Bosnia-Herzegovina during those trying times. Uh, impossible, and uh, uh, but we really feel indebted to them, all of them. There are so many good people in this world, but there are some bad ones, as you know. But again, I would like to thank uh, Remember Srebrenica. I'm honored to be here with you at their invitation. Warburn, not only the president of Srebrenica, but also an agile ambassador of the whole movement, Dr. Azmi. Uh, I call him the spiritus movement, uh, the spiritus movements of the effort, the total effort. So thank you very much for working on this for years. Also, the British government, uh, we are privileged here tonight with the presence of uh, uh, the Secretary of State, State Secretary. Uh, and uh, I would like to say a few things about what you had to say here. We are grateful to the British government for departing from the policies of 90s by being the first European government that commemorized Srebrenica officially. That was a great step. Uh, second, in 2015, in July, the British government introduced a resolution to the Security Council about Srebrenica. That resolution was supported by 10 governments. The Russian government vetoed it. So in July, Germany is presiding over the Security Council. And we only hope that the British government will help uh, to similar resolution be introduced. That was in 2015, now it's 20. So those governments that had some reservations about anything, those reservations should have disappeared. So many sentences in the meantime <coughs> clarified if it wasn't clear enough uh, what happened there. And we all know what happened. We heard the great soldier, Bob Stewart, I do not know if he's still here. I'm afraid I am. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> thank you, and to other great soldiers, Cheshire Regiment, and everybody. <laughs> About journalists, I forgot to mention Christiana Mampur. I do not know if she carries British passport, but I do not know that. But she deserves to be mentioned. Because she said, reporting from Sarajevo, I wanted to be truthful, not objective. That's a great thought. Uh, 